One of my favorite things about the Mamiya C330 is that it's a TLR which allows you to change the lenses. These interchangeable lenses was something that was really rare for uh, TLRs and in fact I don't think any other TLRs actually had this ability. So when I got this, I was pretty eager to try out some of the other lenses that I could try for the system. Most people get it with the 80mm f2.8. Um, and one lens that I've seen that I really wanted to try out was this 65mm f3.5. So I have here the 65mm f3.5 and I believe it's the blue dot, which is the more modern or the most modern of the lenses that uh, Mamiya made for this system. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. I've only used it on one shoot. I did a portrait shoot and it's a pretty nice lens. It's very sharp, it has good shallow depth of field, but it's still just that little bit wider than the standard 80mm and is quite useful. So for this shoot, I was taking photos of my friend Olivia and we were doing an indoor portrait shoot. Her house has pretty good light and wanted to give it a try as we've been doing most of our stuff at the beach and outdoors lately. So when we got to the house, I did a little bit of light reading like with my light meter around the place and sort of noticed it was a little bit darker than we had anticipated. The light had gone behind the hill behind her house. So there was sort of less light coming in than we thought there would be. But this wasn't too bad. We set this up on the tripod and we sort of took some shots at slower shutter speeds and just dealt with it. So unfortunately, with it being a little bit darker in the house, I did miss focus on a few shots. Um, unfortunately, with this camera having not the brightest ground glass, sometimes when it's dark, you can sort of just slightly miss focus. And with this being an f3.5, um, that doesn't help because it's quite a shallow depth of field. So after shooting indoors, we decided to go into the backyard and do some more shooting outside. The light was a little bit nicer and um, it allowed us to sort of hand hold and not have to be stuck with the tripod and a really shot, slow shutter speeds. Um, I think this was good fun. We got some good results and um, I really like the way that this 65 mil performed for those shots.
after shooting those couple of rolls outside, um, I'd also brought my Nikon F3 with the 35mm f1.4 AIS lens and I wanted to give that a try inside uh, to get some black and white shots. So I loaded up some HP5, which I pushed to 1600 um, and shot that inside the house.
So I hope you enjoyed the video and all the photos there. Um, so first of all, I'm really happy with this lens. I think that the 65mm is a cool focal length to have for a medium format camera like this. I believe it is around a 35mm-ish equivalent. Um, it's hard to tell with 6x6 because, you know, sometimes it's like the height, not the width, and it's hard to get sort of your exact um, things like focal lengths translating over, but I think it's around a 35 millimeter. Um, and it performs really well. At f3.5, it's pretty fast um, and has some really nice bokeh and just the background blur is just beautiful. I think it renders very similarly to the 80 mil f2.8 in terms of just the amount and sort of the way that it's a little bit swirly, a little bit cat's eye in the uh, corners and the outsides. And I think for me, that's something that I really like. It's nice character um, and it gives you that sort of vintage TLR sort of feel and look. It's not super clinical or anything like that, but it's still incredibly sharp and really nice to work with. I was also pretty happy with the shots that I got with the Nikon and the 35 millimeter. Um, I think I'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to that 35 millimeter because it has some quirks and some things going on that are pretty cool, kind of interesting, not so good, things like that. But overall, I was pretty happy with the results we got. I like the sort of grainy uh, black and white inside. I always like that look, I think 1600 uh, shot inside with some sort of you know contrast and everything. It always looks quite interesting and nice. So I was very happy with the results from that. So anyway, um, I'll probably end up doing a much more thorough review of this lens after shooting it for a lot longer. So far, this was just a sort of first impressions, uh, just to test it out, see how it goes. Um, but overall from this first shoot, I really like it. It's a versatile, good lens. Um, if you're looking at buying a C330 or one of these models and it comes with the 65, um, and you're worried about whether whether or not you need to get the 80 mil. Um, I think this covers most of your stuff. It's pretty good, fast, sharp, really nice. So I would not hesitate to buy the camera if it came with a 65 mil only. Um, that little bit wider is normally a bit more versatile and so it's really cool. So let me know in the comments down below what were your favorite photos. Um, and if you have any more information about this lens or the other versions of this lens, please make sure to comment them down below so that people can get the information. Um, and if there's anything that I've missed as well, let me know down below. If you found the video enjoyable or uh, helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out and helps to boost the videos and help grow things here. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.